That's the Brooker That Gratitude Guy. All right, today, gratitude for doctors. Well, for those of you that watch my videos on a regular basis, <coughs> there it is. I've had this cough for a couple of months. I've gone to several doctors. In fact, I'm going back to another one today to do a little chest x-ray or something like that. And I try not to give any energy to uh, illness or disease because I just don't think it's good to, to uh, even be focusing on because I think if you just sometimes forget about it, it goes away. But, but I can't deny it. I've actually gotten a lot of emails and texts and things that have said, can I give you a little hint on your videos? You may want to drink, drink some uh, hot tea, some honey, uh, take a sip of water. <laughs> and uh, it's not that I can't talk in front of a video camera. It's just that I've had this cough going on. So I wanted to talk about just taking a second to show some gratitude for the doctors who are in your life. Doctors, dentists, healthcare professionals, what have you. We do a good job of saying thanks to our veterans. Well, maybe we don't do as good a job as we could, but we sure try to, to thank them for our service to our country and many other people, police officers, law, law officers, and so forth. But think about your doctors. They go through medical school, internship, residency. They take a Hippocratic Oath to serve and to help and to take and protect the health of the patients in their world. So the next time you're with your doctor, thank them for really, really giving, <coughs> there it is, giving of themselves and the service that they provide for keeping us healthy. Because as I've said many times, gratitude is so important in your life and we want to be so grateful for all these physical things because if you don't have your health, you really don't have anything at all to speak of. And many times when I'm coaching people on writing in the gratitude journals, the very first thing they put down there is how grateful they are for their health. And who plays a key role in that is the doctors in our lives. So remember that when you see your doctor, your dentist, your healthcare professional, as well as all the servicemen and everything, show your gratitude. Tell them how much you appreciate them and are thankful for their service to you and to others. If you've got that journal, keep writing it every day. As I'm saying, we're starting off a new year here. Let's really build momentum. If you don't have one, you can get one at thebrooker.com and write in that gratitude journal every single day. That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow.